Today I'm sharing 10 kitchen must-have products that will save you money. And I'm teaming up with my girl, Lydia Sun. She's amazing. She is the queen of frugal, the queen of saving money. Go check her out. She is going to be doing another video on this topic as well. That will be linked at the end of this video. So go check it out. And if you're coming over from Lydia's channel, welcome. My name is Kelly with Freedom in a Budget. And my channel is all about living life well on a budget. And budgets don't have to be constricting, but they give you freedom. And I talk investing, saving money, growing your income, all of that on this channel. I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. So jump Jumping right in, number one is having an active shopping list. So what I mean by this is as you think of things throughout the week, add them to your list so that you're not waiting until it's time to go to the grocery store and being like, oh crap, what do I have to buy for this? What do I have to buy for that? I knew there was something else that I was missing that I needed. What was it? But having an active shopping list. So if you want, you can do this as a printable. You can just have a, a regular notepad and pen, or you can even use the notes app on your phone. And this is actually the preferred way that I do it. I love the notes app on your phone. I love how it has the check marks. Like for instance, this week I ran out of Bustello. And whenever I make my coffee, I add a scoop of Bustello and a couple of scoops of coffee. <laughs> because I like my coffee strong and I ran out of Bustello. I need that espresso in my life. So I added Bustello. I ran out of penne pasta, so I added penne pasta. And then as I'm going through the grocery store, I'm checking off the items. If for whatever reason they don't have an item, then I'll just be unchecked and then I'll move that to next week's grocery list or I'll make do without it, either one. But having an active shopping list is so helpful to make sure that you're not forgetting items, making sure that you're not having to go back to the store to go again and then picking up impulse purchases. Having the active shopping list is really gonna be a game changer for you and saving money. And I like it on my phone because then I don't have to worry about leaving it at work. I used to keep my shopping list on a pad of paper at work because I would think of things throughout the week and I would just add them. But then sometimes it would be time to go to the grocery store and be like, crap, still on my desk at work. I'm never going anywhere without my phone. So I don't have to worry about that. I just keep it right on the notes app on my phone. And then even if my husband texts me, I just add it right then and there. I had to run the kitchen to get these. But number two is reusable Ziplocs. I love these things. These are amazing. So these are just like normal Ziplocs, but they're, they're reusable. So they have the Ziploc seal right here to keep them all nice and secure. So your things aren't spilling out then you can just clean them. You're not throwing them away. They're very environmental safe and friendly. They come in many different sizes. I have two sizes. I grabbed one of each. So this is more of like the snack size, which I love lots of snacks. <laughs> this is a snack size, which is so handy. And then this is the sandwich size. And honestly, like you can use these for so many other things other than just food. They are food grade, but when you're traveling, you can put some of your makeup in here or like your shampoo bottles in here, different things like that, just to keep yourself organized. And then they just snap right up and they're awesome. So I love reusable food storage containers. They save so much money on tons and tons of Ziplocs because before, I was going through a lot of them, you know, as I'm giving Jamie his lunches and different things like that and just random things, throw it in a Ziploc. Yeah, these are a game changer. I have to mention that all of these will be in a blog post as well with all of the links for all of them. So everything has a link that you can go and check it out. So check out the blog post down below in the description box. Number three is an Instant Pot. Oh my gosh, guys, I love my Instant Pot. I really do. I bought the big one just because I love meal prepping and I love cooking big meals. Even though it's just my husband and I, I still use the big one because it's I can cook a whole week's worth of meals in it. And my favorite, favorite thing about the Instant Pot is it takes the excuse out of, I forgot to thaw meat. Because you can take frozen chicken breasts, frozen chicken thighs, chicken drumsticks, whatever it may be, put them in the Instant Pot and have dinner on the table in 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes, it's crazy. So you can go from you know not having anything to eat, being like, oh crap, I was supposed to take meat out. Oh no, what am I gonna do? and just having it ready on the table. You can make so many things in your Instant Pot. Also works as a slow cooker, so you can have things simmering all day long in the slow cooker and just marinating in the yummy deliciousness. It's a yogurt maker, a rice cooker. It makes the best rice. I am terrible at making on stove rice. I don't know what it is, but my Instant Pot rice, hmm, it is bomb. It is so good. So the Instant Pot is a game changer. I absolutely love it. It's so multifunctional. It's really great. It doesn't heat up the whole house. I live in South Florida and it's about 500 degrees. I'm sweating just sitting here in this shirt and 
it doesn't heat up my whole house when I have to use like the oven or something like that. So Inspot is a game changer. Next up is the Fetch Rewards app. So guys, you can earn gift cards from scanning your grocery receipts, scanning other receipts that you have in your purse. It is amazing. And if you shop at places like Walmart, Target, do Walmart grocery pickup for your groceries, if you're not shopping at Aldi, then you can get those gift cards and get free groceries. I mean, how can you save more money than getting free? I think that's pretty amazing. So download the Fetch Rewards app if you haven't already. It's amazing. If you use code QHKBH when you sign up and then use the link down below in the description to download the app, you get 2,000 points if you scan a receipt within seven days of using the code QHB, QHKBH. So use that code. It's amazing. You're going to get so many points. You're going to get free gift cards. And I have a couple tutorials on how to use Fetch Rewards that I'll have linked for you guys as well but fetch words, it's a game changer. Instead of a drinking game, let's play a game of how many times can Kelly say game changer in a video because it's a lot. I need to break that habit of saying that so many times. Number five is a new one to me. I've only had it for a few weeks now, but I love it. And that is a vacuum sealer. I thought that I didn't need one. I thought it wasn't worth the money. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh my gosh, it is, it's so cool. I love my vacuum sealer and I've already noticed a difference from keeping things in freezer bags. I do still buy freezer bags just because those, they, I feel like they're not gonna seal as much as like a freezer bag would. But now moving on to my fruit sealer, when I have frozen meat, different things like that, vacuum sealing it and it stays so much fresher in the vacuum seal than it does in like a freezer bag, a Tupperware container, anything like that. And I had a head of broccoli a couple weeks ago. We were going out of town and I was like, oh no, we forgot to eat this. By the time that we get back, it's gonna be gone. It's gonna be not good anymore. And I was like, the food saver, I'm going to use it in that. So I chopped it up into little pieces and like the same that I would go and boil. And I just put it up, vacuum sealed it up and it was good to go and it's sitting in my freezer. It takes up barely any space because it's all like compressed into it. I love this thing. I can't believe I went so long without having a food saver. I really can't. It is amazing, so fast, so easy. When I first used it, I was like, oh, this is gonna take me like 15 minutes to figure out. <laughs> it took like a minute. It was so fast. I love it. Number six is a food processor. And food processors save me so much money by buying like blocks of cheese in bulk versus shredded cheese. When you're buying shredded cheese, a couple things happen. Number one, there are added starches in it, added fillers, preservative things that you don't want. I'm on a low carb diet. So I can't have those extra fillers in my cheese because cheese is king. And so I just shred my own cheese and it saves money too because a block of cheese is less money than the pre-shredded stuff. So that saves money and then I'll buy produce in bulk. And so I'll use, buy it in bulk, chop it up, use my food processor like for onions, different things like that. And then I'll just freeze it. And now I'm gonna use my food saver, my vacuum sealer to freeze it, get it all nice and Case vacuumed up and so it'll stay fresh forever in my freezer. Well, not forever, but a really long time in my freezer. And buying in bulk is saving so much money using your food processor. It really just makes things so much faster, so much easier, and really just takes the like chore out of chopping veggies, all that stuff. You can make so many things in it. You can even make hummus, different things like that. So cooking from scratch really saves so much money in the kitchen. Next up is produce container. So I just learned this a couple years ago, but they have specialty made containers for produce. There's a couple different things that go on with them. Number one, they have a little plastic thing that makes your produce raised so that it's not sitting on the bottom when condensation comes in. And then also it has a carbon filter. So I have noticed that my produce stays so much fresher when I'm putting them in these containers. And so I'll use it for lettuce. I'll use it for strawberries, for grapes, for all different sorts of produce. And it lasts like two weeks in these containers. They are amazing. I have some lettuce in mine now that I bought just one of the bag lettuce mixes with like cabbage and carrots and stuff. And I just threw it in there and it lasts so long. It stays fresh and crisp. Before I used to just put a little like clip on it and then it would be gross and soggy and not yummy at all. But the produce container, it's amazing. It's by Rubbermaid. Next up is some good rubber spatulas. Guys, you want to get every last drop of peanut butter because it's delicious and amazing. Every last drop of mayonnaise, anything that you're using in the kitchen that comes in jars or anything like that, 
a rubber spatula is going to save you money. A rubber spatula is going to help you get that last drop. There's so many times where I'm like, oh, this peanut butter is empty. And then I'll be like, all right, let's see how much I can get out of it. And usually I can get like two servings out of it. It's crazy. When you get in there, scrape those edges. Mm. You can save so much, get so much product out of it. They even, this isn't kitchen related, but I even have some for like makeup and jars and getting shampoo out. They have these special long ones for cosmetics and different things like that that are crazy. They're so cool. Next is cookbooks or Pinterest and using different things like that to keep just the creative juices flowing to find fun recipes that make you want to cook, that make you want to eat at home versus eating out and just kind of mixes things up. I love meal planning, meal prepping. It is so just a staple in my household because it really does save money. It really does help on food ways. It helps just keep you on track with whatever eating plan you're doing or if you're just wanting to eat healthier or whatever it may be. But those are really, really, really great helpful tools that you can use. I have a full drawer in my kitchen that I have some containers and stuff. And then I also have my cookbooks that I have there. I have a recipe binder in there as well and then some old school cookbooks that I use in Pinterest. Also, I do have a free seven day meal plan for you guys. If you want, it'll be linked down below in the description. And what that is, is just a meal plan. It has seven days worth of meals and it has a grocery list for if you wanna buy all seven meals, how many of each thing you need, as well as printables, a grocery list, all of that. So check that out. That'll be down below in the description for you guys. And then also lastly is airtight containers. So airtight containers are awesome. I love them. I really like the OXO brand. They're my favorite and they just have the little pop up or the little latch thing and they just are so nice and just durable. I can see what's in them. I can see how much I have. I have them for all sorts of things. I have them in my coffee, which I do keep my coffee in a closed cupboard. I know that coffee is not supposed to be get, let light get to it, but I feel like in my closed cupboard, it's totally fine. So those I'm, I'm fine with. I keep it in there. I keep one for sugar, one for rice, one for cereal so that cereal doesn't get stale. When your food is sitting in the regular boxes, a lot of times they go stale so much faster. So having those airtight containers are really gonna help save you money in the long run. If you guys are really wanting to save some serious money, I do have a course that is just, I'm getting so much great feedback from it. It's on sale right now. If you use code YouTube, you'll get $15 off, which is so fun. And it's really gonna help you save some serious money on grocery. It talks about meal prepping, meal planning, how to, how to figure out your meals, how to save money without using coupons. There's nothing on coupons in it. I may do a bonus as a coupon thing. So if you get it, you'll get lifetime access for any bonuses in the future. It has a Facebook group, it has printables, it has a 15 page workbook. It is full detail, all video, it is, it's amazing. The average student that has gone through it has saved $100 a month. Guys, that's $1,200 in savings. That's crazy. I'm so proud of this course and I really think you'll enjoy it. So link will be down below. I'm gonna use YouTube for $15 off. If you wanna keep the conversation going, check out this video on how to save money around the house. And if you wanna check out Lydia's video, go check it out here. Hey, no, no, no.